In this video, I will give you a peek at OmniFocus Pro. During the first trimester of my current pregnancy, I felt very sick and needed lots of rest. So I decided to try planning digitally because it was taking me too long to plan by hand in my bullet journal. Here, I'm in the forecast perspective of OmniFocus. Today is actually October 27th, and I have one task due tomorrow. I have 44 tasks past due, so right now I'm pushing these tasks forward. As you can see, even digital planning wasn't working out well for me. For recurring tasks, OmniFocus only shows the next task due. So if it's overdue on October 6th, you can click com completed and it will show the next task for October 7th. If you want to show that you've done this task from October 7th to October 27th, you can keep clicking completed. If you would rather not, you can just push the overdue task to the current day or whatever day you want to start over. Take this exercise task for example. I could push it forward, but if I click completed, you will see further down that it shows up again with a due date of October 7th. Notice that if I drag the task to a date in the future, the number in the red box decreases. However, if I just click that a task was completed and, this, and the task is recurring, the number in the red box does not change, which shows that the recurring task is being put back into the list of tasks to complete. Now you can see that the exercise task has come up again with a due date of October 7th. It took me a little while to figure out that these tasks that I was completing we're actually showing up over and over again. Remember, it's actually October 27th and a lot of these tasks were due in early October. So clicking them as completed would just push them to the next available day, which would be October 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, etc. Um, after a while, I started just dragging some of these tasks to uh, to other dates. I'm looking at my inbox now and doing a quick brain dump here, which is just a dentist appointment at the moment. I'm assigning a project and context to this task. However, these steps are optional. Now I'm assigning a due date. I'm looking at all my projects now. Notice the little icons next to the projects. The parallel lines are for parallel projects, and that means that these projects have tasks that can be done at the same time. The line with the sequential dots are for sequential projects, and these projects have tasks that must be done one after another. Notice here that you can forward emails to OmniFocus in order to place those action-related emails somewhere where you may actually be more prone to completing them. The unconnected dots are for single action lists. And these are a list of tasks that can be done at any time whenever there is time available. 
Now I'm looking at various contexts I've set up thus far. Notice you can nest these contexts. I didn't have any flag tasks, but they would show up here if I did. Now I'm reviewing all my projects. All this entails is looking at your project's task and seeing what's coming up or what's nearly due. You may want to make adjustments here. This is a powerful feature because it gets you to routinely review your projects. You can change how often you want to do this. The default recurring time frame is every week. Given the nature of my projects, which right now is mainly schoolwork, this works out nicely for me. Here I'm showing you how I add a new task to my cleaning list. I want to take out the trash every Monday. So I'm pulling up the sidebar view. I'm setting up the context here in the sidebar. Now, I'm showing you the focus feature that's available in OmniFocus Pro. You can select a project or projects and only see the tasks for that project in all your perspectives. Here, I'm selecting multiple projects. You can add different perspectives here as well. The starred ones are the ones that show up on the left sidebar right now. As you can see, you can set up your own based on your individual needs. This is also an OmniFocus Pro feature. I hope this video was helpful to you. Check out OmniFocus's website for more detailed information and demonstration videos. Be sure to leave me any questions or comments. See you in the next video. Bye.